Hey gang, Scott here. So this video, all about On1 360. This is something On1's been talking about for the last month or so leading up to the end of June here in 2020. And it's uh, it's cool, it's really neat. I've been working and playing with some of the pre-release builds for the last few weeks. It's finally available to everyone. And I've been fielding questions about it. Thought it'd be good to put together a video that explains what it is, what it isn't, and show you a couple of the workflows that I'm finding it to be very helpful with. I am putting together some larger training on this. Uh, I hope to have that done in the next two to three weeks. It'll be available through my website, so keep your eyes open for that. But for today, let's just cover the fundamentals. Let's start off with what is on 1360. And to understand that, let's look at the entire on one ecosystem when it comes to editing. Now the first thing we have is on one photo raw. On one photo raw is the desktop editor. It's the app we've been using for the longest time to edit our photos, do non-destructive edits, layers, specialty effects, all those things. A new component of the ecosystem is on one mobile. Now this is a mobile app for iOS or Android. You can capture photos with it as well as do edits on them. On1360 connects these things and lets you synchronize your photos and your edits amongst all of your devices. For example, you share photos from your desktop. Those will be available on your laptop and your mobile devices. If you are on the go with your laptop and you create and capture new images on your laptop, you can share those back to a desktop at home as well as available on your mobile devices. You can capture and edit with your mobile device and have those photos shared back into your other machines. And as you make changes in one place, those edits are reflected in other places. You can make edits on the desktop and see those reflected on your phone, for example, and vice versa. Edits on your phone can be reflected back to your desktop. So 360 is the synchronization service. It's not adding new editing capabilities in the sense of new filters or uh, some whiz bang new thing with layers or anything like that. It is letting you interconnect your various machines. So in front of me, I've got a desktop machine. Let's see, I've got an iPad over here running on one mobile. Off camera, I have a laptop that's also running on one photo raw. And I can see and work with images all together. The same, uh, same view of my images, same access, uh, editability, and be able to do that wherever I happen to be with whatever device that I have on me. Now there are a few things that On1360 is not. Number one, it's not general cloud storage. You don't get a chunk of storage that you can toss whatever you want up into it. This is built into the On1 ecosystem. So On1 Photo Raw understands if you are subscribed to 360. Mobile understands if you're subscribed to 360. And based on what you choose, certain photos, groups of photos, folders, albums will be synchronized accordingly. Number two is it's not designed as like a multi-user editing system where you have a team of people and you know everyone is uh, you know, distributed. You're not all editing the same photo at the same time. That's not what it's designed for. So it's really designed for the photographer who has multiple places that they work. And in some cases you need to be away from the studio and still have access to your images to view them, show them to clients, edit them, whatever it may be. And the third thing is it's not a synchronization for on one extras. So things like texture packs you've added or preset packs or so forth. Those do not get synced across multiple devices. So if you uh, have a bunch of those things, if you're very familiar with this dance already, you've got on one on your desktop, you got on one on your laptop, you need to install those things on both systems so that you can have access to all of your custom presets and custom textures and custom borders and backgrounds. So let's look at a couple of workflows that you can use on 1360 to facilitate. I mentioned you can share folders 
or albums. And we'll look at a couple of ways to do that. And you can share in any direction from desktop out to other devices, from laptop to desktop, from mobile to desktop. So uh, here is just a set of uh, images and folders. I have these in a cataloged area. And if I right click on this, you'll notice I right now it says unpublish from on one 360 because I have already published these to the service. And you can see right there, this little on one 360 logo is telling me that all of this stuff. And if I open this up, all of my subfolders here have been shared to on one 360. I go over to the mobile platform. I can see my machine. This is my iMac pro and I drill into there go into travel, I can see all of my different folders of images and any ones that I've edited, like that first one up in the upper left corner, that's the same thing that I have here on my desktop. So I'm going to try a live share here. So I'm going to do this for the first time with an album and show you how to share an album. So let's close up this stuff here. And I just have a, an album with a handful of photos in it, so this won't take too long here. This album, right click on it and publish to 360. It's as simple as that, there it goes. And down here in the lower left, we've got a little progress bar. It's telling me it's up to date, so it is possible it went really quickly. On the initial sync, yeah, it takes a little time depending on how many photos you're working with. Let me go over to the mobile platform and we'll see what we have into the albums area. There's travel favorites. Those previews are loading in and refreshing right now. And there we go. So that sync happened in the 35 to 50 seconds I was speaking through that. And now these are accessible on my mobile platform. I can share these and show these to anybody that I want. So it's very easy to have a portable portfolio. Share an album of images available on your phone or on your iPad or you know, on your Android and you can show that to friends, family, etc. very, very easily. Let's take a look at the reverse workflow. So having something on a mobile device and you want to do some initial work on it and then finish it off in the studio or at least have those edits available to you. So uh, in this case, I've got some Sony RAW files I loaded into the iPad and I can edit those on the iPad and have the results show up on my desktop. So on the desktop side, you'll notice in the on one 360 area, this shows other devices that you've shared from. If I drill down in here, I'll see this set of photos. This is the same set of photos I have on the iPad. So let's open up one of these here, maybe this one here, and I'll do some basic edits. All right, I'll start with my AI. Looks good and maybe make a few changes, you know, a little bit of contrast, you know, just to get you an idea that what we can do here, recover some highlights and maybe in the effects area, add some color to the sky, a little enrichment in there, darken the sky a little bit. In the orange section, maybe increase those ever so slightly in there and, you know, call that good. Then a couple of moments back on the desktop, we see that the photo updates and changes right over here. This is the one I edited, 72. I'll open that up. And if I open up my side panel here, in the info area, notice I have develop changes and effects changes. And in the effects, we see these five different filters have been added. Those are the same filters that are available in On One Mobile. And sure enough, if I go into the edit module on the desktop, give ourselves a little more space there, we'll see all those same slider changes as well as the color adjustments that I made to the orange and to the blue channels. And I can continue working on this here in the desktop to refine it, fine tune it, and those edits will be reflected back. Now there are some limitations on what edits will be available on mobile once I make changes on desktop. Mainly, if I add an effects filter that is not available on mobile, I can see the results, but I can't do the edits. So that is, uh, I think, something that will grow over time with 360. We'll see on one add more and more effects filters in the mobile app and then we'll be able to have even more flexibility. So you can always do full edits on desktop, see the results on other devices, 
But when you're going across the like desktop laptop to mobile divide, you know, photo raw to on one mobile, there will be some limitations in what you can edit on the mobile. You can always see it, but you may have some editing challenges. Let's do one more quick workflow where you are on a laptop and you're out in the field and you want to do some editing of your work before you get back home. You can start on Photo Raw on your laptop and synchronize images through on 1360 and make them available to your other devices. So on this laptop here, I've started with, I've got a, a several days worth of photos that I've gone through and done some ratings of ones that I like. Go into the advanced search, I'll turn that on and we can see these are the ones I've rated with four stars. So what I did here is I selected all of these and created an album. Right? So I created an album, I called it Main Selects, right? I add the selected items. I can also publish to on 1360. And I have two choices, an editable preview or the original raw photos. I can actually send the raw photos up through on 1360. And then later on, I can pull them down to other devices if I want to. I actually did choose originals for this. I'll click cancel because I've already done that. And this main selects album, you'll see those photos there. And back on the desktop, well, we have in the albums area, main selects. Now, one thing is I don't have a concept of what machine or what device this album came from. So if that is something you're doing a lot of albums sharings around, you may want to incorporate the device that it came from. That's just not something that shows up in the interface here. But here are my main selects. I've got them all here. And I, of course, can make editing changes and anything I want to do. And those are reflected out uh, on all the devices. With desktop to laptop or multi-desktop, you have access to all of the photo raw capabilities. Every filter, local adjustments, layers, all of that stuff is synchronized. And I want to point out one other thing here. Right in the lower corner, you know, these little badges here. This one says original file available. That's because I shared an original file shows that share originals when I sent this into photo uh, into on 1360. Any of the albums or any of the folders, let me right click on this travel one, sync options, right? I can do sync previews or original files. And if I share the original files, it gives me the option of taking these and copying them into my catalog on, in this case, my desktop. I wanted to consolidate photos in. So let's do a really quick edit, something that would be very obvious for us. I'll select this uh, photo here and let's just add a preset. We'll go into uh, black and white. So that'll be a very obvious change for us. And this thumbnail looks pretty cool. Let's apply it on the laptop. I give it a moment that will synchronize through on 1360 and show up on the desktop. And there it is. The elapsed time on that was maybe about 15 seconds. So pretty quick to get those edits up here. And then of course I can go into this, I can continue editing, and I can see whatever types of effects were added to this photo. This one just has two things, a black and white and a vignette. And I can go in and continue you know, fine tuning things if I wanted to darken the, the shadows more, make this a really contrasty kind of photo, anything like that, or deep in the black. So let's go, let's go really uh, detailed, uh, extra contrast, bring those highlights back up. So we've made some significant changes there. You can say done with that edit. And this will now synchronize back to the laptop, which uh, just blinked on in front of me. So that actually took even less time to move back out. And there we go. So that's another example of, you know, workflows where you can have these multiple devices. You can do your edits in basically anywhere that you are. And by sharing originals, you have the option to consolidate your photos later. So that is the whirlwind tour of On1360. To recap, On1 Photo Raw on your desktop or laptop, the photo editor we've been using for a long time. Do all your non-destructive edits, layers, specialty effects, all that stuff. On One Mobile is a new app for iOS or Android. You can capture photos with it. You can do edits with it. 
on 1360 is the synchronization service between them. So to have photos shared across your devices, you sign up for on 1360. The new version of Photo Raw and on one mobile understand what 360 is. You sign in, and then you have the ability to share your photos. You choose what gets shared. On your desktop, you can choose any folder, cataloged or uncataloged, any album, and you decide whether or not to share previews or originals. On the mobile app, it's set up so that as you capture, those things are shared to the cloud automatically if you're part of On1360. That's going to wrap it up. I am working on some training, as I mentioned at the beginning, to round out these workflows more and go into more detail on how you might incorporate On1360 into your own workflow. So if you're interested, keep an eye on that. Watch my website. I'm sure that when I have it ready, somewhere in this video will have popped up saying, hey, the training is ready and you can go check it out. You got questions, go ahead and drop them below. I'll put a link to On1's frequently asked questions about On1360 in the show notes so you can check that as well. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.